Hello everybody, we are back trying to complete community center in one year in Stardew Valley. This is going to be the last video. Will I be able to do it? Cast your votes in comment section right now. <laughs> I'm going to be playing for fall and winter in the same video. This was 10 hours of footage. And of course, this had to be the shortest one yet. <laughs> It was the first day of fall, and fall is the most profitable season for crops. You can make a lot of money if you play things right. And you get your sprinklers. A ton of them. And let them do the work. <laughs> but I'm on the beach farm. Th there is no sprinklers. Although some of you let me know that we can use sprinklers on the dirt patch we have at the bottom left. So if you didn't know like me, now you know. <laughs> you can actually use sprinklers just on that little area. I didn't know that at the time of playing, so I, I do water my crops every day like a good farmer. I don't play, I work. Everything I have, I made with my own bare hands and a ton of mouse clicking. When it came to the seeds, my two main ones were the cranberries and the pumpkins. We're gonna need either five gold star pumpkins or five gold star corn to complete quality crops bundle. And I don't know about you, but pumpkins never fail me. And they're, they're not gonna fail me now. They won't. I know, if there's one thing I can predict is that <laughs> pumpkins are not gonna fail me. Remember to use fertilizer on them, basic or not, just use some. I went to the forest at night since I finished planting and watering things a bit too quickly to see if I could find any forageables, but I found none. So I guess we'll do it tomorrow. I did go around the forest to see if I could find some extra seeds because my farm turned out to be a little smaller than what I was expecting at first. I didn't have enough money to purchase enough seeds for it, so yeah, I was just taking down every single weed I saw in the forest, hoping that I would get some random seeds. On day two, my coop was ready, I finally got the final upgrade done, and now I could get my rabbits. If it wasn't Tuesday and Marnie was working, imagine. <laughs> Imagine what I would be able to accomplish if Marnie worked a little bit more. The sad thing with the coop and my barn fully upgraded is that now I can't take any A out. So if I want to gather some more, I need to either build another coop, barn or build another silo. When I went to town, I got a new cutscene. My gosh, did this update bring a lot of new stuff. Now, besides the requests that we get in front of Pierre's store, we can do special orders. Every week there will be two different orders that we can pick from and a time limit to get them done and delivered. You probably saw all these different boxes all around town and this is what they're for. My first two orders were from the wizard and Willy, one asking for a rare goop and another asking for bug guts. 100 pieces of them. Willy and his crafts, man. <laughs> I decided to go with the common bug meat even though it's 100 pieces, you always find so many bugs in the first levels of the mines that it should be easy. If you have some of that item already, that, my friends, doesn't count. You really need to gather these items, even if you already have them. I had found all the foul forgeables yesterday, and so today I completed that bundle. And I also got some solemn berry wine that morning, so I donated that to the wizard's bundle. And back to the mines I went. On my first day, I gathered 18. And at the end of my second day, I had 65 on me. Yep, I knew bug meat would be easier to find. A bee attack, just what I needed. Wait, no, I'm only missing one bit. Are you kidding me? Wait, thank you. <laughs> Well, time to deliver the bug meat. I hope Willy will find all the crabs of his dreams. I was checking soon every day to see if I could find some cookies. I still didn't have the recipe. Befriending Evelyn was taking a while and I was getting impatient. Marnie was finally working, so I got my first bunny that I named Coco. And when I went to the beach, Willy was putting the bug meat to use. And he teached me how to make a quality bobber that I'm never gonna use. <laughs> so besides the money reward, it appears that whoever posted the order will give you something else in return. And guess what? I didn't need to grow the cold quality pumpkins because this morning I got five gold corn. I don't know how it happens. I usually don't invest that much on corn, but I'm glad it happened. <laughs> 
With it, we were only missing the fall crops bundle to be able to unlock the greenhouse and finally use sprinklers. On the 6th of fall, Truffles had grown, but he stubbornly didn't want to leave the barn and find me Truffles. You know, I'm her Truffles. All this work to get you in first place and now you won't even try. Gosh, Marnie, not even a diamond will increase our friendship. The shorts are being a really hard task to retrieve. <laughs> After some bonding time with Alex and Dusty, I got another cutscene with Elliot at Saloon, where we made a toast to our friendship, which unlike Marnie's and mine, th this one is growing at a rather fast rate. Emily visited me this morning after she sent me some cloth yesterday in the mail and was like, so I heard you acquired some cloth? I, I did, Emily, from you. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. But yeah, this just means that we unlock the sewing machine and we can come to our house and use it whenever we want to. So thank you, Emily. Truffles, find me a truffle, please. <laughs> thank you. Today, I decided to get the remaining fish to complete the missing fishing bundles. You need a tiger trout that can be found in Downs River and a walleye that can be found anywhere except on the sea, but it needs to be raining. Hold up, Willie, let me get the chest. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, you can fish now. I had a quest to find a sea cucumber for Elliot, and I tried to get it done, but I couldn't find it. I don't know if it was that fish that got away that was incredibly hard to catch. If it was, it's not happening. <sighs> I was very productive today. Yeah, we all know that. <laughs> oh, perfect. It's raining today. Looks like we might be able to finish the fish tank. It's also blackberry season and we're gonna need a lot of it to complete Linus bundle. He also appears to have lost his basket. We'll help him. My cranberry bushes had finally grown so I could start putting it in my kegs to make some profitable cranberry wine. And most of my day was spent shaking every single bush in existence. <laughs> We had some new orders to choose from on day 8, both from Demetrius, one asking me to catch a lot of tiger trouts and another asking me to catch a ton of whatever lake fish I could find. We're picking the lake one, because the tiger trout is still a bit crafty for me and my current fishing level and my fishing rod. So yeah, and if you want to complete this task quickly, go to the mountain lake and fish there. You can also find the walleye there. And just like that, all the fish bundles are now complete. This house was empty for years, the trees moved in, and so did we. Two stars. I can't believe we only got two bundles on yet. <laughs> I feel like I've done so much. And this is the result. I found 60 blackberries today, so I could complete Linus' bundle. I sold a few of my crops to Pierre, and with 10k gold, I could upgrade my house. The first house upgrade will add a kitchen to your house, which we're gonna need to cook a fried egg and some maki roll. Also the cookies, if you need them. Oh my god, what did I just see? <laughs> Thank you for keeping the door open for me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did he not see his shorts on the floor? If you want to use the shorts for a special occasion, like the luau or the fair, don't talk to Louis while you have them in your inventory. Put them in a chest as soon as you can, or he'll steal them as soon as you talk to him. Like sometimes you forget and he just snatches them away. Trust me, I've been there. If I want a Coco, my rabbit, to give me a rabbit's foot, I needed to increase her happiness. And we can do that during the cold seasons by placing a heater in the coop. At night, the Junimos remove the boulder, and when you go to the mountains next day, you get a cutscene with Willy where he gives you a pen that I'll never use. <laughs> By completing Dimitri's order of catching 20 lake fish, you receive a computer. Well, at least the crafting recipe, you gotta craft it. <laughs> but like, I wonder if we can use it for something. I just need a lot of different things that I do not have at the moment. And that a cutscene with Elliot. I don't know how I'm doing this. I guess sweet peas are like an incredible, powerful gift to give to people to gain friendship points. <gasps> Come live with me, Elliot. His face. <laughs> I wonder if he would come if it weren't for his novel. I don't know. I spent the rest of the day in the mines as I haven't yet reached the bottom and I got level 110. We're just 10 levels away from the ends. 
On day 11 my house was upgraded and now I had a kitchen to make the goodies for Gus Bundle. I hit the mines again one last time and I reached the bottom. We got the skookie! On the 12th of fall my trees were finally showing some signs of growth. I was actually a little bit scared that I planted one of the trees really close to my home and they weren't gonna grow on time. Oh, but they were growing. That was a huge relief for me. Also, the mangrove tree was finally showing signs of growth. I thought this tree was never going to grow. And yet another bundle completes. Not a full room, but, but a bundle. It's still good. I got an invite from Elliot. Apparently, he finished his book. Whereas two days ago, he was struggling. <laughs> Does he really want to come live with me? He has no excuse this time. <laughs> this time he really has to come. And on the 13th of fall, don't know if it was because it is day 14, uh, but a witch came and left me a void egg. You can put the egg in your coops incubator and eventually a very unique chicken will hatch. On the 14th of fall, my pumpkins have finally grown and I told you, pumpkins never fail me. I was right. With them, I could finally complete the pantry, and by selling them, I could finish the vault room in its entirety as well. So many wonderful bundles. Thank you, thank you. Two bundles in the day. We're doing good. It was a good day. And to make it even better, I asked Elliot out. He said yes. On the 15th, Evelyn sent me a letter in the mail with a gift. And here's the thing. <laughs> I know that these gifts are random. If you close the game and you open it again, the item could change. So I, I did that. <laughs> It's not cheating, it's simply using my game knowledge. <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, I got the cookies, that's all that matters. <laughs> the fair was happening tomorrow, and honestly, I had quite a few good items on me, so maybe I wasn't going to need the mayor shorts, but we're holding on to them, just in case. Look at all this free space, I can't wait to start making some real money. I only had four sprinklers on me, and not a lot of resources to make more, so I got some cranberry seeds and I planted what I could. You don't need to buy them all. If you have some in your chest saved up, you can use a seed maker to get more seeds and just plant them that way. I had so much grass growing on my farm and I felt bad not picking it up. So I ended up asking Robin to build me another silo. It had to be done. And today we had some new orders. One from Gunter, and the previous one we saw from the wizard. I picked Gunter's one because, again, it's not asking for something rare. And 100 bones doesn't feel like a lot. <laughs> Just saying. The 16th of fall is a Stardew Valley Fair, so make sure to take care of everything around your farm before you go. And for my grand display, I went with a gold smallmouth bass because I sold every other fish that I had. <laughs> a pink cake, a pumpkin, a diamond, a fairy rose, truffle oil, a gold melon, fairy rose honey, and some iridium quality milk. Which earned me first place. Suck it, Pierre. That's what you get for reselling my crops and telling people you actually planted them. I bet those blueberries are mine. <laughs> and he's just using them for his display. The whole point of the Stardew Valley Fair is to get enough points to then spend them on some various items. So after winning the grand display, I tried going for the guy with the wheel, because I knew that green has a higher chance of winning, or maybe I should say had, <laughs> because now it really feels like a game of luck. And I wasn't lucky. I kept gaining and then losing it and gaining it and losing it and... <sighs> so I just stuck to my favorite game, the fishing one. And by favorite I mean the only one I can play right and get points. <laughs> I always go for the easy routes. I was able to buy a scarecrow, the dried sunflowers and a star trap. After the festival, I went very quickly to the community center to complete the kids bundle, which gave me some batteries in return. Just like the Dimitri's bundle would. So I guess the rewards are all the same, even though the bundles are very different. 
At this point, I was only missing the winter forgeables, the free apples, the pomegranate, and the rabbit's foot. I returned Schwartz to Mayor Lewis, which he didn't even thank me. Sheesh. Yeah, I'll keep your secret. It's not like this is going on the internet or something. I decided to focus on my current order to gather 100 pieces of bones. Yeah, we're starting a few days later, but it shouldn't be no biggie. I managed to get 36 on my first day just by going to level 70 and slowly making my way to level 80 and then starting over. Remember me doing a little trick to get the cookies? Yeah, it's all fair now because on the 18th of fall I found some cookies on Evelyn's fresh can. <laughs> so I would have gotten them anyways. Marnie, I want to buy some rabbits. Marnie? It's Thursday! <laughs> What the heck? Coco had grown, but all she had given me so far was wool. And I was starting to panic a little. And thought, maybe I should get more rabbits. Not only would I increase my chances of getting the foot, but, but also, maybe Coco would like some company and give me her, her foot quick. <laughs> it's so weird how the rabbits drop their feet. <laughs> Did they just grow them back? So on Friday, I got her two new friends, Ruby and Bunny. At the end of the day, I level up my farming skill to level 10. I'm very surprised by that. Is it because I'm watering everything? <laughs> Do I get points for that? I picked artisan as my profession, as I'm all about the artisan goods. On the 20th, my fruit trees were grown, and I had my free apples and single pomegranate for bundles. It was really coming down to the rabbit's foot. Also, my mahogany tree grew, and if you put a tapper on it, you get sap every day. Which is really good if you need it for fertilizer. And my void egg hatched, bringing in a new family member, little Becky. At the end of the day, I got all 100 pieces of bones for Gunter, and as a reward, you get alerted in the mail with a crafting recipe for a bone meal. This item will turn bones into fertilizers. Which, again, is pretty handy. With the buzz repaired, I finally went to the desert to take a little peek at it, meet Sandy, and oh my gosh, I need this birch bed right now. <laughs> I took a little look inside the school caverns. I didn't make it that far, but I, I wasn't prepared anyways. My sword sucks. I just wanted to try my luck for a day and see what I could find. 25 levels deep? <laughs> You're gonna have to wait, Mr. P. With a few seeds that I bought from Sandy yesterday, I finally filled up my greenhouse. On the 24th, I got some new orders, one from Linus and another from Robin. Thousand pieces of stone. Sure. Let's go with Linus' order. <laughs> because he just wants me to fish trash out of the water. And there's no place like my farm for that. Really? The one time I want trash, I can't find it? Farm, you always appoint me. But apparently whatever trash you get out of your crop pots also counts towards the order, so that makes it even easier. Tomorrow is Spirit Eve already. Fall just flew by and I still don't have the rabbit's foot. Like, I wish I had some exciting news to share. And you can probably tell that I'm like skipping a few days because now I'm just missing the rabbit's foot. And the winter forage balls, but it's still not winter. I got everything done from fall. Besides quests, special orders, and taking care of my farm, there's really not much to report on. But tell you what, I did find a duck egg on the traveling Martian today. Pretty good find, I can finally get a duck for very cheap. I stayed up till late trying to find some trash, but I still couldn't complete the order. My farm shows now to give me fish instead of trash. I see. It's our final pumpkin harvest, our farm is getting smaller, and once winter comes, I'll be freed of all this clicking. My greenhouse is here to sustain us for winter. The festival only happens at night, so don't go to bed too early, or you'll miss it. You really don't want to miss Spirit's Eve. Even though there's not a lot going on, you do have the maze with a special prize. So, go try it out. Ooh, it's a full moon night! And on the last day of fall, I still didn't have the rabbit's foot, but it's okay. Since it's the final day, harvest what you have, sell it. If you have grass on your farm, harvest it, because once winter comes, that is all gonna disappear. Oh, so this is what the trash can is for. Linus Quest, okay. Willie was finally selling the reading fishing rod, about time. So I got it, and I went to Caroline's tea room to get another tea leaf, this time for me. I gotta ship it. And this concludes fall. <laughs>
and now it's winter! The first winter is always an exciting time, because everything dies. And you can start planning your farm! Just take everything down and start laying down some paths, some fences... Oh, it's a wonderful time. Linus sent me a new crafting recipe as a thanks for doing a special order. Some fiber seeds, which apparently can be grown on winter. And the best part is that they don't need to be watered. Linus, you get me. <laughs> when I started heading towards the town, I encountered the shadow guy, who after seeing me, took off. If you go after him, you get a magnifying glass, which just means we unlock the secret notes. From time to time, you'll find them by doing various different things like digging, mining, cutting trees, whatever. They just appear and you read them and you find little secrets about the game. They're kind of fun. We got some new orders. Demetrius wants to reduce the link on numbers, but they never did me any wrong. So I pick Robin's order, which requires me getting 80 pieces of hardwood, meaning I need to go to Secret Woods every day, get the daily 12 pieces, and by day 7 you'll have the 80. Like, not joking, I almost forgot to get the hardwood on the first day, because I get so lost decorating my farm. <laughs> As soon as winter comes, I just get so focused on that that I almost forget about everything else. <laughs> on day two, I went ahead and started looking for the winter forgeables. I needed a snow yam and a crocus. And when I got to the mountain, I find Linus taking a bath in the freezing lake water. How? <laughs> I could never. I would have died there, but naked. <laughs> just frozen to death. <laughs> we got the grass room. When we're done here, we'll return to their world. Yeah, about that. N no, you won't. <laughs> now it's really all about the rabbit's foot, which which is not happening. <laughs> At night, Junimus repaired the bridge at the mountain, and I finally had something to do. Well, at least I had something to clean. And I found my first prismatic shard. I got so excited that I immediately went to the desert to get my prismatic sword. <laughs> Finally, a good sword. Took some time, but we got it. It was at this point that I figured, you know, I don't need to record every single day because the only item I need is a rabbit's foot and my computer's disk is getting full from recording everything. I'll just record each morning, just me checking the coop and if it happens, it happens and that way I'll save myself some space on my computer. And after I made that choice, I come back on day five, I check the coop and there it is. I can't believe it. We did it! Thank you and you and you. Let's go finish this, once and for all! The last bundle. Farewell, Claudia. Oh, We'll be seeing each other again, I just know it. We did it! The community center is fully renovated and when you wake up the next morning, you get a letter from Louis thanking you for completing all the bundles. And once you head to town, you get a cutscene. It's the end of the series. I really hope you all enjoyed watching and that you learned some new tips for when you play the game. When it comes to the goals for these two seasons of fall and winter, during fall you need to make a keg for the pale ale and the wine. If you have the brewer's bundle, you're gonna need a few more things, but once you get the keg, it'll be easy. Plant some pumpkins and corn using fertilizer so that you can get gold quality items for the quality crops bundle. Upgrade your house. Repair the buzz, which requires 42,500 gold. Catch a tiger trout on the town's river at any time. And the walleye on the river, mountain, forest, from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. and it has to be raining. During winter, you need to get all the forgeables the winter roots, the crystal fruit, the snow yam, and the crocus. And if you need it, get an aloe shell for Dimitri's bundle. If you haven't gotten it already in the mail or found it on your beach farm. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed watching this mini-series. I do want to do something similar to this again, but like 
more like a guide video on what to do on each season to complete the community center, including all the new bundle possibilities. So once I have some free time, I really hope I can make that happen. We shall see. <laughs> so until we meet again, goodbye everybody, take care.